I've got a dirty secret. Does anybody else find it exhausting? I'm back. Today I wanted to talk about, how do I say it without making it sound so dry? I was gonna say like online communication. Look, like many people watching, I grew up in a world of MSN, Nokia 3310s, and simplicity, technologically. We had dial-up broadband. There was no Wi-Fi. Computers at school were a commodity. Mobile phones at school, absolutely not. So I don't, personally, I don't have TikTok. I don't use Instagram, really. Social media. I'm really not involved in social media, I wouldn't say. I don't use the social platforms and I, I don't scroll on them. Yes, I post and I have a quick look to check things, but I don't look at things. I don't watch TikTok. But I can see, I can completely see how it's so addictive. Like you start watching it and you're like, it's like entrancing. It's concerning. I feel a bit sorry for kids nowadays. But the thing I wanted to talk about, we're so connected. On my phone at any one time, I have so many notifications, so many. I have one, two, three, seven chats that I haven't opened that I've just left unread. I think in the very near future, I am gonna go phoneless. Not, mm, will I go phoneless? I might use a Nokia 3310. Wait there, I'm just gonna buy one right now. Here it is. Let's see how much it is. It's fucking 30 quid. How? Maybe it's because they're so OG that everyone like... I genuinely wonder if people are going to start going back to like Nokia days. Will Nokia make a resurgence? I mean, it's doable. You don't need a smartphone. Does it make my life significantly easier? Yes, it does. I feel like there's a significant expectation nowadays to reply fairly quickly, to reply at all. Like, I kind of have to reply. And like before, if you were going to meet somebody for plans or whatever, you'd just be like, yeah, come and knock on my door. And I might say, Dawn, why are you buying a phone if you want to go phoneless? Look, I do kind of think we do need phones, you know? If there's an emergency, I'd quite like to be called or I'd quite like to be able to call the emergency services. And yes, most people have a phone, but what happens if you're in the middle of nowhere? I think it's good to have some form of, you know, if I fell down the stairs and broke my pelvis or something, like, I don't think that would happen, but I don't know, something, I fell off a cliff and uh, whatever. It would be good to have a phone. I think it's just, I want freedom from a smartphone for a little bit. Or that they have to ring me instead. Does anybody else find it exhausting? I'm gonna go back to watching Emily in Paris. And me. Emily, it put me in a really difficult position. I've got a dirty secret. I've become one of those people that drinks tonic water on its own. I don't know how it happened, um, but I just really love these little cans. 150 mils, they're so cute. Rhubarb and raspberry, no caffeine. But it's weird, I get it. Tonic water, on its own. What's happened to me? Having a tonic life crisis. Sometimes I dig around in my bag and I can't see what I'm like touching or searching for. And it makes me think of those I'm a celebrity challenges where they have to stick their hand in those things with animals in. 